Okay, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here talking about stuff that I don't know enough to talk about. So I'm just gonna kind of show you an overview of something really cool that is happening. So I've already spoken a little bit about Android 13, the newest version of Android that is now already in developer preview. And there's some cool stuff going on there, but there's way more. There's a thing that's happening with Android 13 developer pre preview number one that I think is way cooler than anything I've shown you guys so far. Because apparently, in Android 13, developer preview 1, there is a new version of a virtual machine, a kernel-based virtual machine, or KVM for short, that is allowing people, one developer in particular, KDragon on Twitter, we're going to be looking at your tweets here in just one moment, sir, thank you, to install full fat Windows 11 on their Pixel 6 device. Now, why the Pixel 6? Well, because that's the device that this Android 13 developer preview one is available for, but presumably once this rolls out wide and everyone gets Android 13, you'll be able to just install whatever OS you want, so long as it's compatible with ARM architecture, that's a big caveat, but Windows 11, many different versions of Linux and so forth are going to work just fine. So let's jump over here to Twitter and we'll take a look. Here's Windows 11 as a virtual machine on the Pixel 6. And there's a lot of screenshots here. So here he is going through the setup process. Here he is here looking at Task Manager and you can see the CPU speed is working correctly. All this stuff's working correctly. You can see it understands that it's a weird aspect ratio, but it doesn't quite know what it is. Let's keep moving here. The start menu is working correctly. He's rotated it around and now you've got kind of an interesting look here. Web browser's working just fine. Everything seems to be relatively functional. Performance seems to apparently be pretty decent as well. Your, your read-write speeds are solid. Here is a video here which we will let run booting Windows, logging in, and then using it. We are booting up, going through the welcome screen, logging in. There's your desktop. He's opening up applications, opening up task manager, scrolling around using the touch screen, doing all kinds of stuff, and it's working pretty damn well. So, what does all of this mean? It means that the doors are opening up in a really significant way. I mean, I don't have to sit here and tell you that Windows 11, a full desktop operating system on a phone, is quite interesting. We've talked about Surface Duo and the Windows 11 port that is in progress for it right now. Well, in 32 years, when we have Android 13 on our Surface Duos, We'll just be able to do this. I mean, you know, we don't have full GPU acceleration yet on this, but that stuff may come along as we do move forward. And it's going to just open up the doors here to this kind of experimentation that just hasn't been possible in the past. And it may not even require rooting to be done. It may just require use of, of ADB to basically give applications some deeper permissions to do things on your device. So this really is going to kick that door open open if things do remain. Now, look, we've seen things before be in developer previews and then not make it to full release. So fingers crossed that that's not what happens here, that this does actually make it out publicly to everyone that does update to Android 13. Because as I've just said 47 times already, the door will be fully kicked open for people to experiment and to do whatever they want, to basically be able to have Android when you want it and full Windows when you want it. And then if you really want to go insane and tear the space-time continuum in half, you could be in Android, running Windows in a virtual machine, running Android apps inside Windows 11. And I think that would literally bring upon the apocalypse. Or let's get creative here. Let's think about the idea of having a Samsung device. I mean, look, you know, these Samsung devices are going to get Android 13 as quick as anything. So let's say you've got your Samsung device. Maybe it's a Z Fold of some sort. You're using your Z Fold and you come home and you do that thing where you use your computer or your monitor or whatever, and you're going to use Samsung DeX, a desktop operating system. Well, forget DeX. Just run in a virtual machine full fat windows off of... I don't know where to put my phone, 
off of your Galaxy Z Fold device. Mine fully blown. This is exactly what we've all been dreaming about. I actually had someone comment on one of my videos, or maybe it was on Twitter, a long time ago, like how cool would it be if when you plugged in your Surface Duo, you know, we had Continuum back in the day on Windows, but what if it was, you know, you'd plug it in and then Windows would boot. Now, and in my mind, I was thinking, well, that's insane. That's a pipe dream. That would be great to have, but it's never going to happen. Well, what if it does? What if this does happen? It probably won't happen on the Surface Duo for quite some time, if ever, but it can happen on other devices, and, and I mean it could literally actually be a thing that happens. You could just plug your phone in, launch your VM, and there you go. Mind-boggling stuff. Thanks to K Dragon. You might want to give this person a follow on Twitter or follow me, because if you're gonna see here, I'm gonna give them a follow and I'll retweet stuff that they might see as well. So and the way you go, full credit to them for breaking this crazy, incredible news. Guys, stay tuned for more stuff like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.